Happy freaking Halloween! I love Halloween. And I'm having a little Halloween shindig tonight at my house. I'm so excited. Oh God, you're gonna bounce. Mm. Cool. So we are gonna have a Halloween shindig with a little spooky surprise that I get to show you. So I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, but I'm so excited about it. So I found out that this weekend, James Charles is gonna be in Minnesota at the Mall of America. Morphe said that only the first 250 sisters get to meet him. This is important because I have to drive three hours to be there and if I don't get to see him, I will literally break my neck. So, at James Charles, is that what you want for me? Is that really what you want for your own sister? Because if so, that's a little rude. That's a little sister savage of you. So I'm going, of course, and I literally found out last night and I messaged my friend and said, James Charles is going to be at the Mall of America this Saturday, can we go? And she dropped all of her plans so we can drive there in the middle of the night and await the arrival of the queen himself. Let me just tell you, that is the truest friendship I have ever heard. What our plan is, is that we're gonna leave here Friday at 10 p.m. and we will probably get to the Mall of America at about 1 a.m and she wants to sleep for a couple of hours. So she'll probably sleep until two or three. And then we're gonna wait in line until the doors open at seven. The sad part is, even though the doors open at seven, he doesn't get there until noon. So we're literally gonna spend our whole day waiting around, but it's gonna be worth it if we get to meet him. If we don't, like I said, I will break my own neck. So, it's a lot riding on this, like a lot. So hopefully you'll get to see this video because otherwise I'll be dead or in the hospital. But that's fine because riding on the fact that we're gonna get there on time and that this video will make it to you guys by Tuesday if you're watching this hello I didn't break my neck it's Halloween and I am pumped like a pumpkin okay please kill me that was the stupidest thing I've ever said but when I said pumped I thought of pumpkin just I have no explanation for how terrible that was and I'm sorry that you had to hear it that's just how it's gonna be today like, I just am stupid, okay? But you know what? It's what makes life interesting for me. So, like, if you don't have an interesting life, what are you doing, sis? Okay, I'm gonna go to class, and then we're gonna have a spooky sister gathering. So, see you then. This is literally the opposite of a ranting video because I am in such a good mood. I feel like I'm literally on drugs. Stay in school, kids. Don't do drugs. Because instead... You can just drink coffee and feel like you're on top of the world, like I am right now. Yeah. You guys are gonna get to see me in my super cute costume, so ooh, love that for us. Boy.
dark reality of Scooby-Doo you don't see on TV, kids. So I just woke up. I'm looking a little bit tragic right now. Um, my body is probably very confused. I fell asleep at 1 p.m. and it is now 5, well, actually almost 6 p.m. And I'm going to have some coffee and watch some Netflix and then start doing my face. Okay, you guys, so my face is officially ready. It is 8.40 p.m. and there's already people outside, according to James's story. So we are leaving a smidge early. I am freaking out and if we get there and over 250 people are there, I'm literally gonna kick some ass. So, stay tuned, sisters. We are 30 minutes away! So, got here at 11, still weren't in the first 250. Um, have been waiting in line for literally hours and um, want to die. So they basically came around and told us there's no guarantee we get to meet James. So living our best lives, honestly. Feeling a little goth right now. So it's 6 a.m. Um, there's people like moving and I am so unimpressed right now. Some people tried budging in front of us and we shut that down real quick. I am not living for it, I'm not happy, and I am no longer thriving. So we're being led somewhere by a security guard. So things are looking up, I guess. I have no more hope and I am exhausted and my brain cannot function anymore. Literally we waited in line to go to the Morphe store and I bought a sister's apparel sweatshirt and that was it. Um, it is now 10.30 in the morning, um, almost a full 12 hours since I've been here and I haven't done anything impressive so you know that's that sorry I sound depressed I am oh also we got Panera and my mac and cheese was really good what the fuck Okay, not to be rude, but that was literally like Tanacon the second. I am not impressed. I was here for 12 hours and didn't even get to meet James. Got to see him from very far away for about two seconds. Couldn't hear a single word he said except hi sisters. Um, so that's really good and fresh. Love that for me. Bye. So it is 1 p.m. and we are leaving it was a waste of time. True. Tanacon 2.0. We sat there for many, 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 many hours and what did we get out of it? Mm, as drama. much as, literally as much as the people that were there for two hours. So, tea. Bye. We're really depressed, but that's fine. It's yeah. literally fine. I'm going to take a nap for the rest of my life. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I made it home, all bundled up, ready for my nap. It's about 3 p.m. James is still meeting people, and we probably could have met him, but that would have entailed us not being able to go get lunch because we would have had to get out of line. And, you know, after... 12 hours with no eating, I was over it. So, I chose food over that. It overall wasn't the greatest experience for me, but it was still cool to see him in person and 
I'm so proud that James is releasing a palette, and it's beautiful. I just wish that the Mall of America could have run it better, and that um, the people that had been there for 12 hours would have gotten to meet him, rather than just random people that had been there for two hours. But it's fine. I'm going to bed. Good night. So, Queens, happy Monday. Um, so my plan for the day is to take a bath with one of the bath bombs I got from Lush at the Mall of America. So you're going to get to see that because it's so beautiful, you guys. I got two, um, and I'm not really sure which one I'm going to use yet. Sorry, I can't decide. I want to look kind of cute, but not really working out for me. Anyway, we're going to do a bath bomb a little later, right after class, and um, that's probably it for me. My boyfriend right now is feeling really sick, so I made him some tea, I made him have some honey, um, had him drink a whole glass of water. Basically, I'm super girlfriend right now, but yeah, so I will see you right after class. Can't wait for my relaxing and fabulous bath to um, help ease the pain on my feet that the James Charles meet and greet <laughs> caused me. By the way, forgot to tell you, me and my adorable little sis um, carved pumpkins this weekend with her dad, so I'm going to insert a few clips, fuck, a few clips of that now. Hi, Queen. I missed you. Hi. <laughs> okay, so that was it for pumpkin carving. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed those clips. Also, I know I promised you guys that I would break my neck if I didn't get to meet James, and technically I didn't get to meet him, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be breaking my neck. <laughs> I know I didn't live up to the promise and I'm really sorry about that but I have 66 subscribers and that's a lot to live for so like you know gotta do it for the fans am I right ladies bath time <laughs> I just finished my bath um it was awesome and relaxing so that is it for this week's video if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and for sure make sure you hit the bell down there to make sure you have my post notifications on I love you guys so much